Hey, what's going on today, guys? It's Trey. Welcome back to the channel. And as always, welcome back to beautiful, sunny Hawaii. Today, it's my day off. So we're going to do a little bit of a road trip around Oahu. My in-laws are in town as well, so I want to show them around. We're going to head up the windward side. We're going to hit the North Shore, check out some food, check out some sites, probably get in the water. And then we're going to cruise right back down through central Oahu and stop at the Dole Plantation. So I want to take you guys along with us. So stay tuned and let's get into it. So we wanted to make a little bit of a pit stop here at the Tropical Farms Macadamia Farm Outlet, which is located literally right across from Kualoa Ranch. Now, if you're familiar with Kualoa Ranch or pretty much with Hollywood in general, this is where most of Jurassic Park was filmed or the entire Jurassic Park series was filmed. And they shot, I think, 50 First Dates over here. So this is a place on the island that you want to be when you come. And so we just wanted to stop, check it out get some macadamia nuts and let's get in here some quick advice for you guys this place gets pretty busy so i try to get here as early in the day as possible to avoid the heavy crowds but regardless it's definitely worth being here so they actually have free kona coffee which is really Cool thing, and of course, you should always tip. After our time at the Macadamia Nut Farm, we decided to head literally right down the street over to Chinaman's Hat, which is a really cool place here on Oahu. You can actually hike over and paddle across the bay. It's a really nice spot. And we continued our tour up to the North Shore. This is Kualoa Ranch where you can take tours of and ride ATVs and zip line. It's a really, really cool place here on Oahu. Now on your way up to the North Shore, there's gonna be this really, really tiny town by the name of Laie, which is home to one of our really favorite places to come. And that is called Laie Point. All right guys, so we are here at Laie Point, which if you can see is a stunning oasis of jagged, sharp rocks. But definitely the star of the show is this beautiful natural phenomenon right here, which is, this all is considered Laie Point. And sorry, I almost busted my butt, but this is a really cool place. You can actually jump off right here. They don't recommend doing so, but you can jump off this cliff you can notice there's some of these like PVC pipes and whatnot. A lot of guys like to come out here and fish. This is a really, really nice place to be. Hey Bruce. The next place we decided to stop on our adventure was the Kahuku Superette. Kahuku Superette is arguably making some of the best poke bowls here on Oahu. They're located at the tippy top of the North Shore, but they have some really great ahi tuna bowls. We don't eat fish or anything like that, but we had to bring the in-laws here to try out the great food, see how it was. They got the ahi tuna bowl with rice. And of course, in true Hawaiian fashion, we had to get them some spam musubi and they enjoyed it. All right, guys, so we're over here at the Kahuku Sugar Mill located here in Kahuku. This is one of the coolest places on the island for food because they have all different types of food trucks. They've got, I think they got a couple bars around here as well. So like. This is your all around place to stop if you've got a big family that wants to eat different things because you'll find everything. Like you'll find burgers, you'll find Mexican food, you'll find Thai food, you'll find seafood, you'll find authentic Hawaiian cuisine. And the place that we love the most over here, since we're vegan, is called Raised by the Waves. We found this place not too long ago and they've never let us down. They have really great food. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool spot. So. Next time you're in Oahu, check out the Kahuku Sugar Mill because this is like a foodie mecca over here on the North Shore. After officially making it up to the North Shore, we decided to head over to Pipeline, which is a world famous beach known for its massive waves and massive swells, crystal clear blue waters, 
powdery white sand. It's a really, really cool place. And this time of year, it's pretty tame, but if you were to come around like December or so, you're gonna notice some huge 40, 50, 60 foot waves and swells. If you're looking for a beach that's a little bit more on the tame side and a little bit more family friendly, we recommend driving down a little bit and checking out three tables. We got really lucky driving past Turtle Beach. We looked off to our rights and noticed literally hundreds of turtles swimming out in the water. This is another place that you have to stop, but be careful because you do have to cross the main road, but the views are totally worth it. By this time in our mini road trip, we had finally reached Haleiwa Town, which is a really cool surf town located on the North Shore. And we love coming up here because one of our favorite eateries is located here and it is called Haleiwa Bowls. Haleiwa Bowls is great because they have some of the best acai bowls on the island. They provide coffee, they provide elixirs, all different types of holistic supplements, smoothies. They've got such a broad and expensive menu, but you have to get the acai bowls when you come here. And if you're curious, this one is the Blue Magic Bowl. And for our final stop, no trip up to the North Shore is complete without a trip to the world famous Dole Plantation. Now, yes, as you can see, it's super touristy. It's like Disney World here in Hawaii. It's like super touristy. There's, you know, it, it kind of is one big tourist trap, but you got to stop here. It's a really cool place. The number one reason why we love coming up here to the Dole Plantation besides seeing all the tourists and whatnot is definitely the Dole Whip. The Dole Whip is so good. It's better than you'll find at Disney World. It's better than you'll find at any Disney Resort or Disneyland anywhere. Disney related. It is so good here at the Dole Plantation, obviously. It has a different taste. It's got that sweetness. It's got that tanginess of the pineapple. It's just really good. It's the best Dole Whip I've ever had. You have to stop here. Check out the Plantation Garden Tour while you're here as well. I wouldn't pay the additional money for the train. It's not really worth it, but the Garden Tour is totally free. The entire exhibit is totally free, and you have to stop here when you come to the North Shore. Now, since we live on the windward side of Oahu, which is the eastern portion of the island, you will get the chance to drive down this really beautiful scenic roadway by the name of H3, which is what we're so lucky to do almost every other day. All right, guys, we're back here on the farm. Had such an amazing time with the family. We got a chance to check out the windward side. We checked out the North Shore. We had such a fun day. I'm getting attacked by mosquitoes right now, so I'm gonna end this video real quickly. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, thank you for the continued love and support. Our baby is gonna be here soon. Super exciting time in our lives. So as always, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Mahalo for watching.